Hey everybody, Brad here, aka The Bread Maker. I wanted to bring a quick video to you guys and just kind of go over a few different topics. Uh, first topic I wanted to share was just some status updates on what we've been working on in the background, what some of our future plans are. We've got a lot of big changes up and coming here. I know uh, recently those of you that have been watching have been uh, seeing me kind of dabble in the options and stock trading world again. And um, you know, I've been sharing kind of these uh, kind of teasers of a strategy that I've been working on that I want to be able to share out with everybody and kind of giving some information about what I'm doing with that. So I want to share a little bit of an update on that in this video. Got a couple updates on uh, just some minor things with bread bites that's going on. And then I also wanted to share a breakdown of the trades that I took last week. Uh, last week was pretty heavy on bread bites and some of the things that we're working on. So I only was able to, I only really had time to get into three trades last week, but we'll go ahead and go over those as a breakdown as well in this video. Um, so first thing I wanted to share was just um, kind of what my future plans are for this channel and what my future plans are um, you know from a trading aspect community standpoint all that kind of stuff so uh, first and foremost you know, community comes first for me. I really want to, you know, do everything I can to help people learn how to trade. That's an area that uh, I really haven't been able to get into. Uh, those of you that have followed me, I have a uh, business called Bread Bites, which is automated trading bots. And we've been going strong. We just broke a, a little a bit over a year, a couple of days ago of being in business. Um, so I do have a couple things I want to touch on on that in a minute. But uh, with that, I really, uh, I've been so busy and tied up with that. I really haven't had the time to get back to kind of teaching and helping people learn. And, and being fully ingrained in the community like I've always wanted to be. Um, so, you know, I, I plan on doing that a little bit more going forward. Uh, so look for, looking forward to that. And a lot of that revolves around the trading side of things. I really want to do more of like teaching, uh, teaching people, understanding, um, you know, just candlestick charts, trading, options, all those kind of things. So I've been working on a lot of different things in the background as of late. And uh, one of those things being uh, options trading. And I really am kind of working on sharing, working on building and sharing educational content around options trading. One of the things that I've been doing in the back end, which you, you've probably seen me share a decent amount about was um, the, the strategy that I've built that I've been trading with options been working on fine tuning that and getting it to a point that's readily available for, um, you know, other people like those of you that are part of our community to tune into. So I'm looking forward to that. The other thing I'm, uh, you know, we'll be doing is, uh, kind of, uh, doing a little bit of a redesign of our discord to be a little bit more, um, you know, open to different trading styles and things like that. Right now, our discord is primarily for those people that are trading our bots. They ask questions, share thoughts and feelings, uh, feedback, things like that. Uh, so we'll be open that up. Up a little bit more and providing it to be a little bit more educational, a little bit more about stock trading and option trading, a little bit more open for people to ask questions and just kind of build up a community. Uh, you know, maybe if some of you guys are interested, I'll go ahead and do some live, uh, you know, trading or live sessions in there, Q and A's, things like that. Just be a little bit more engaging in that chat. So I'll drop the link to our discord in the uh, description of this video. If you want to jump in now and kind of get a head start on it. Um, like I said, the discord in the, in the moment is kind of a little bit bare, Bones, but we'll be kind of opening up some channels and some different things in there in the near future. So that's one of the big updates that uh, you know we're looking forward to, and I'm looking forward to. Um trying to help people learn how to trade and kind of do it in real time through a, you know, kind of chat room format. So if you want to join our discord, like I said, I'll leave a link in the, in the uh, description below and you can jump in and, um, you know, we can start kind of, uh, growing together and building that as we go. So that's one thing. Uh, the next thing, like I said, is really a big community focus. I really appreciate those of you that have engaged with me through video, through Twitter, through discord, wherever it may be. Um, it really helps me identify what content people are looking for and what they want and how to best uh, you know provide that to them so again if you are interested in stock trading crypto trading uh, options trading and you want me to share more videos and more content stuff uh, you know the more that you can engage and, and share your interest in that the more it kind of gives me a, a good pulse of uh, you know where to move going forward based off what you're, you're looking for but I've always been the kind of of the mindset of like you know teach a man to fish kind of kind of mentality. If I can help teach people to trade and then they're able to trade and I can help give them the tools to that, you know, that's a win for me because, um, you know, it allows you to learn how to do it rather than just straight copying what I'm doing, but not really having an idea of what's going on in the background. Uh, you know, being able to kind of actually know what's going on and know how to execute trades and things like that. Um, you know, that's really fulfilling for me to see users, uh, you know, follow something that I taught them and then execute it and then do well with it. So, um, you know, like I said, that's going to be a big focus for me over the next several months. Um, 
Secondarily, if you didn't realize this, um, Bread Bites, uh, we just had a, a massive pricing update uh, where we all now are offering our trading bots completely free if you uh, use a referral link when you sign up for an exchange to utilize our trading bots. So I'll also drop that in the link below in the description. I'll also share with you um, the website for that. It's uh, breadbites.com backslash referral. Right now we have a referral with Apex, BingX, BitGet, Bybit, and, Bybit, and KuCoin. So if you do use any of those exchanges, um, you can get one, you get 10% discount on your trading fees. Two, you can actually utilize our trading bots uh, that we currently have on the market and you can utilize them completely free. There's no longer a monthly subscription fee if you use a uh, one of our supported referrals. So just wanted to share that out there for those of you that maybe haven't seen that. I know we haven't really um, kind of really pushed it marketing wise or shared a ton about that, but uh, we're really excited for that. I think it helps a lot of people especially those with a smaller bankroll, you know, paying $75, $80 a month per bot, you know, if you're running a couple of bots, it can be challenging to make your sub fee back, especially if you're trading with, you know, a couple hundred bucks, 500 bucks, a thousand bucks. Um, you know, you really have to have a good, really good consistent months um, to really be able to, to make back your sub fee and then some. So uh, this helps anybody really get into it. We have some people trading 50 or hundred bucks. We have some people trading, you know, a hundred thousand dollars. So if you're interested in that, um, you know, you can go to breadbites.com backslash referral and check it out. I'll also include a, a description or a link in the description to this video as well. So, so that's a lot of the stuff that we're working on. The biggest thing that I'm working on right now is this uh, options trading strategy. Um, the challenge that you have with options trading is, uh, you know, it doesn't, the option contract doesn't move in the same correlation with the price. So if a price, maybe a price movement of on a stock might move 0.2 or 0.3%, but the option contract move is significantly larger. That might be a 10 or 15 or 20% move on an option contract, depending on the contract and the expiration and the strike price that you purchase. So um, the biggest challenge that I have with kind of getting this strategy out to people is just trying to find the best way to, to allow for exits and show people how to exit trades properly, uh, you know, when it comes to these option trades. Also, there's a lot of other fine tuning that I'm doing with the strategy, but hopefully, uh, you know, this strategy will be something that I'll be able to release to everybody in the future. You'll be able to add it to your trading view chart um, and go from there. I'm hopefully getting, would like to get this out to people where you guys can add it to your trading view chart in a couple of weeks. Um, but, you know, we'll see where, where things are at. There's still a few things visually I'd like uh, to, to show on the chart a little bit better. And, um, you know, obviously, again, the exit part of it is, is probably the biggest, um, you know, hurdle. I think the entries are, are pretty solid, but the exits are the area that is, uh, you know, kind of uh, a little bit more challenging when it comes to option trading rather than, you know, stock or crypto trading where it's, you know, pretty straightforward based off the movement of the asset, um, you know, dictates the result of the, you know, price movement. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the chart here um and this is the strategy that i'm running i wanted to kind of be able to share this with you and just uh give you a little bit of a further explanation of what you know it is what i've built what i'm doing and then kind of go over a few of the recent trades that uh, you know i made uh this past week so first and foremost this is the strategy and the way it works primarily i'll do another deeper in-depth video on this strategy uh in the future as well to break down exactly how it works but mainly the first 30 minutes of the stock market is generally the most volatile time period for the market so essentially what this strategy is doing is it after the first 30 minutes are over it basically plots the highest high and the lowest low of that first 30 minute period of the market so it's essentially taking the highest volatile period of the market and then it's putting a you know highest high and a lowest low and essentially the way you trade it for the most part the easiest way to trade it is trade go long on a breakout of the highest high and short the a breakdown of the lowest low um, so as you can see here on this chart um, you know we have a you know the highest high plotted here the lowest low plotted here this is on Verizon and so essentially what it's doing again is you know it's identifying where the breakouts are break downs are and essentially you're just riding that trend uh, intraday throughout the rest of the day so one of the most uh, one of my favorite things which we'll get into is this in the breakdown one of my favorite things about this strategy is in most cases I'm in these trades at on average, I'd probably say I'm in these trades for maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes. So they're quick trades. I usually do maybe one, maybe two a day at most. So I'm in and out pretty early in the morning, wrapped up my trading day very quickly. At most, you know, like this Verizon trade, I think it was a two hour long trade. And that's 
that's all that's definitely on the long side for this strategy you know usually um you know i'm in and out much quicker than that but this one went a little bit sideways for a little while the other thing i wanted to share with you was this tool down here at the bottom let's uh take a look closer look at it this is the tool that we built i'm super excited about this uh, to share this out i think this is going to save everybody a ton of time whenever we're able to release this and this is the multi-asset tool essentially what this is doing is let's say you know you're looking for these breakouts or breakdowns but the problem is you know, let's look back at the chart here real quick. So let's say you see a breakout or breakdown. You're gonna have to go over here and you're gonna have to essentially, you know, cycle through a bunch of different assets and type in a bunch of different names of stock tickers and stuff like that to see if one's near a breakdown or you're gonna have to set up a ton of alerts to alert you anytime there's a breakdown. Well, now with this multi-asset tool that we've built, Essentially what it does is it allows you to, um, you know, you can just see all these assets. I, I have a watch list of about 30 assets, uh, you know, down here across the bottom. And what this is basically doing is it's letting me know when there is a asset that is on a breakout by sh signaling a long or a breakdown signaling a short. So what I can do is I can just be looking at one asset, but I can see when a setup is ready on 30 plus assets. And I can add more assets to this. I can subtract assets, but I have a watch list of about 30, um, you know, stock tickers at the moment, which I'm probably going to pare this down because I mean, 30 is a lot. As you can see here, there's a ton that are signaling and then you have to kind of make a decision of what is the best setup. So I'd really like to pare this down to maybe like five or 10 to where, you know, you're, you're, you're more linearly focused, uh, on a day to day basis. So, uh, my goal is I'm actually kind of going through different options contracts and looking at different stocks whenever the markets are open for options and just seeing which ones have the tightest spread and most vol volume and volatility and things like that. That uh, make it easy and uh, to get in and out of different option contracts, and then those are probably the ones that I'm going to pare this list down to, so it's a little bit easier for the average user to take a look. But you can see here, I mean, there's a long list of you know different assets, and this is just my own personal um, you know kind of watch list that I put together of assets that are you know pretty liquid and uh, you know have a good bit of volatility on a day to day basis. So. And that's a really cool feature that we built out. I'm super excited for that. This has saved this multi asset tool that we built has saved me a ton of time looking at charts. I can just be on one chart. I can see that at the bottom and kind of see when something is, you know, set up for a breakout or breakdown or, or whatever it may be. So that's another feature that we're kind of fine tuning and, uh, you know, working on building out a little bit further. But let's go ahead and jump into this, uh, the trade so you can kind of see the trade breakdowns. So I traded three assets uh, this past week. I ended up taking two wins and one loss. Uh, on the week so it was an okay week but like I said I, I didn't really have a whole lot of time we had a, a a lot of the time was spent on bread bites and working on different things that we're working on in the future as well as working on you know building this strategy and perfecting it a little bit more um, so I didn't have as much time to actively trade it as I wanted to but anyways my first trade that I took was on Verizon um, we can kind of zoom in a little bit here and kind of see the trade itself so I took a trade on this first uh, candle right here. And you may be asking, you know, hey, why didn't I take a trade on this candle right here? And the reason I didn't take a trade on this candle right here is that's not how the strategy works. The strategy works, this strategy is on the five minute time frame, and you have to wait for the five minute candle to close on a breakdown. You know, there could be times where maybe it's looking like this big red candle right now, but then maybe the price pushes back up over that line and you've already gone in and, you know, opened up a put position or a short and now you're stuck in a position that you may not want to be in. So always part of the, one of the key rules to the strategy is always wait for, to buy in on the next candle after a candle closes below the breakdown line or above the breakout line. Um, so that's a key thing to remember on this strategy. Um, as you can see here, you know, price was kind of sideways for a while. Didn't really do much when it had a little bit of an uptrend. Then we got a push down and we got a little bit of a pump and then we got a nice big clean um you know kind of dump which we were able to close out of this trade i ended up closing out of this trade um pretty much at the bottom of this candle right here which uh, there i left a little bit on the table there wasn't a whole lot more downward movement i mean we saw just a, a little bit more downward i probably may have been able to squeeze an additional i don't know five percent out of this trade i did get i think i ended up closing this out for about 12 percent gains um so overall pretty solid like i said you know the strategy is really easy honestly once you start using it it's super easy to use you're just buying on the breakdown 
after the close of the five minute candle and then or on the breakout on the other on the reverse side um and then you know you're just uh closing out wherever you feel comfortable really i mean the exit side of this is the side that's a little bit challenging this is the area that i've been working on personally and that's why i've been you know personally trading this and sharing my trades and kind of going over it in detail with everybody um because i need to i need to kind of have a really good uh understanding of the best way to exit these strategies while trading options because the price movement is you know kind of all over the place as you can see we can we can zoom out a little bit and we can see how much the price actually moved i mean i bought in on this at about 33.30 and i sold at about 33.20 so as you can see it's only a 10 cent move on verizon but that 10 cent move generated over 10 percent profit uh in an option contract so the option contract is is the part that kind of throws this for a loop a little bit in terms of uh the exit Exit strategy so I'm still working on that and that's why I said this strategy isn't quite ready to go live and be shared with everybody just yet uh, because I still need to um, you know kind of time out the exits and, and figure those out going forward um, but we can go ahead and jump into the next uh, trade which was on coca-cola um, and we can check this one out and see what ended up taking place here so on this one um, we can zoom in just a little bit here and see what we had going on so this one actually played a little bit differently I played this mainly on momentum honestly and I bought a uh, put option uh, right about here on this candle close and I actually got, I had a couple candles that didn't really go my way before we got the downward move that I was looking for. But essentially this one, I probably should have played the breakout like I normally would. Let's just say, hypothetically say, you know, normally I would play on this candle close right here. I would buy a call option. And this, if I had bought a call option, this play would have worked out really well because I mean, it would have been super fast too. I got basically four, what, four candles in a row there, um, that were green candles, five minute, 10 minute, 15, 20 minutes maximum. I probably would have been in this trade for 20 minutes, but I probably would have sold probably close to where I entered this actual trade at, uh, on the put side. Um, but this was one of those situations where I actually wasn't at my computer, uh, right when this market period opened. So I, I missed the initial entry trade but essentially the way I played this one was based off momentum and the reason I did that was if we look if we zoom out on the chart a little bit I mean we saw coke have a pretty significant move it went from sixty dollars and forty two cents up to almost seventy bucks it was at sixty ninety two and Pretty much all the uh, momentum indicators that I was looking at were pretty oversold or uh, overbought, sorry. Um, you know, MFI, RSI, CCI, a lot of these momentum indicators were kind of identifying a little bit of a pullback. You could also see volume starting to uh, decline a little bit. So I was like, okay, this move's moving up on declining volume. I started getting a pretty good feeling. I was like, all right, this is probably coming back down. So uh, there was a couple candles where it went against us. I probably could have timed the entry just a little bit better and held out. Uh, for another candle or two but we ended up getting the drop that we needed and again this was another one where I was able to exit I think this one I didn't um, gain as much as uh, VZ I think I ended up exiting uh, I exited right here for about seven percent uh, but either way um, you know there's multitudes of ways of playing this strategy primarily like I said had I been available at my computer I would have bought on this candle right here and bought a call option and been in and out in you know 15 20 minutes so uh, this one just kind of played out differently due to the fact that I wasn't readily near my computer to uh, to be monitor, monitoring it. But overall, was able to take a second win of the day. And then uh, going to the last trade, which this was probably the most kind of frustrating trade for me, honestly. I thought this was you know, slam dunk, home run, you know, money in the bank, guaranteed win right here. Um, I bought on this candle, on this breakout candle. And part of the reason why, I'll show you why I felt so confident about this trade was because if we zoom out a little bit, I mean, this thing straight has been killing it for the last few days. Um, you know, we can look right here. We can zoom in um, over here and you can see breakout and then we got a massive move to the upside. We got another one right here, breakout right here, massive move to the upside. Um, we can scroll over, zoom out a little bit. We got a breakdown right here, big move to the downside. We got a breakout here, big move to the upside in, in the day. So, you know, we got another one right here, um, this is like what five or six days in a row essentially we got these massive breakout candles so 
obviously, you know, naturally I come into my trade um, that I took and we can zoom in on that one um, a little bit further. And you can see, let me um, just kind of zoom in a little bit closer on the chart here. And you can see that on this one, I mean, I thought the same thing was going to happen. I was like, man, this has been happening all week long. And this thing has been essentially breaking out and then just going on a massive runner. So I was expecting to catch this move again. Obviously, markets are going to humble you sometimes. I really have no qualms about this trade, honestly. Like, I traded it the exact way I needed to trade it. I bought in. Um, actually, I bought in on this candle because this, this candle right here was the original or initial breakout candle. But, you know, I was looking for another one of these just straight ladder moves upwards um and I, we got the opposite so i bought a call option right here and we got an opposite basically went straight down three candles i basically got stopped out in you know 15 minutes essentially 5 10 15 and i was out um so i took about a 10 percent loss on this trade um so overall you know overall week wise i was up marginally i didn't make a ton this week but again i only was i only took three trades for the week where i usually take five to seven um, so smaller trading volume and I have no qualms about this trade. There's not really anything that I can sit here and be like, man, I should have done this differently or that differently. Um, you know, it's just one of those situations that, uh, trade looked really, really good. And then you buy in and does the opposite of what you expect it to. So that's just part of the nature of trading sometimes. And, you know, sometimes things don't go your way and that's just, um, you know, part of the, the way the market works and, and how the conditions are. So, um, yeah, so that pretty much wraps up. Uh, the breakdowns of the three trades, like I said, traded Verizon, Coke, and PFE. Uh, Verizon and Coke were winners. PFE was the loser for the week. Um, really excited for the future. Uh, I think the next like three months, I'm really going to be trying to focus on my content game and um, you know grow things a little bit further. So definitely feel free to uh, drop in the comments anything that you want to see or hear from me, um, and uh, you know we'll go from there. Again, as always, I really appreciate everybody's support. Um, you know, feel free to like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and again, just you know feel free to drop any comments in if you have any uh, feedback or anything you'd like like to see in my future videos or um, you know any thoughts that you have so uh, appreciate you tuning in have a good one till next time thanks a lot